Fresh evidence that this is turning into a very dry winter. State water officials conducted the third snow survey of the season. They measured a snow depth of 29 inches and water content of 11.5 inches, resulting in 47% of average for March. As for rain and snow, experts said we didn't get the results they'd hoped for. They're expecting this to be the driest February on record in the northern Sierra in the past 100 years. The snowpack was measured at Phillips Station near South Lake Tahoe. KPX 5's Don Ford explains how dry conditions across the Bay Area could lead to concerns. February has been a magnificently beautiful and dry month. In fact, one of the driest on record. Is that a cause for concern? The U.S. Drought Monitor indicated that at the first of the month, some sections of California were listed as abnormally dry. This week, some areas are now showing signs of moderate drought. The variability is, is part of living in California. David Briggs is the manager of water operations for the East Bay Municipal Water District. It's his job to monitor water usage and supply. We came into the water year in good shape, which is really helping us get through this dry period. And, and luckily, we still have a few months left. The warm February is fooling some plants into thinking spring has arrived. Some are budding early. Flowerland Nursery in Albany says some folks are starting to plant too. Whenever it gets nice weather, we often see way more people, and we have been just recently. Griff cautions folks to always use drought tolerant plants and also warns that there's still time for cold and wet weather ahead, so even though it's warm today, that would be great because anything that comes from here on out is going to be a big help. Experts say hot and cold, wet and dry, it's the new norm. We are in a warm, dry period right now. A month from now, this all may seem like a faint memory if we're, if we're in rain and colder weather. In Oakland, Don Ford, KPIX 5.